All right, Kevin, back with you for another episode of the Million Dollar Relationships Podcast. And, and today I am here with Jonna Lee. Jonna, I'm so excited to have this conversation. With I'm you. so excited to have this conversation. I've been looking forward to this. Yes, yes. And and I need I, I don't need to. I want to give a shout out to Brandon, to Brandon Fong. Uh, yes. Brandon is the one that connected us and not, you know, Brandon's really cool because Brandon, he doesn't just send an email saying, Hey, you guys should connect. He's like, here's the email, but here's this loom video that I made. And, and he puts this heartfelt video together that, that talks to both you and I about here's why you two need to really connect, you know? Yeah, I love that. And, uh, and I'll tell you, Brandon is one of those guys. I still remember when I first, I, you know, I don't know how many years it's been. It's probably been six, seven years ago now that I met him in Genius Network in, in this mastermind group that we were in together. And I ended up sitting next to him the first morning of this event. And when I started talking to him and found out how old he was, which he was like in his 20s, I'm yeah. like, Brandon, are you kidding me, man? And I said, like, when I was in my 20s, I didn't even have my act together at all, man. <laughs> I was like, I I was definitely not in a mastermind. <laughs> so, He's a wise soul, Brandon. We love him. <laughs> and so, you know, right from the get go, that that guy had just so much respect and appreciation for me, you know. <laughs> and uh, and so, you know, and and the thing is, because of Brandon, you know, connecting you and I, Jonna, that. When, because we have this mutual friend that, mm -hmm. you know, that we both have so much respect for. And even though you and I didn't know each other until he connected us, our very first conversation, we just totally hit it off. We, we, mm -hmm. we were talking like we'd been, like we'd known each other yes. for years. Yes. <laughs> and, and that is a, the, just a testament right. to the power of relationships right there. So, and so. Absolutely. Um, what I'd like to do is just kind of start off by turning it over to you so that we can set a little bit of context, let you share, you know, about, you know, what the work you're doing, who you yeah. serve, what inspires you most about the impact you guys are making. And we'll just start there, Jonna. I love it. Um, I am super excited to be here. Super grateful to Brandon to, for being here and a little bit about me. I am an operations nerd. That's honestly the most, that's the most honest title I can give myself. I stumbled into operations. I didn't even know what it was when I first started doing <laughs> it. But through a series of odd events, uh, I learned that it was my passion. It wasn't just something I was good at. It wasn't just something I could learn. It was something I was genuinely, genuinely passionate about. Um, and so my background is as a operator, as a COO for multiple digital startups. Um, yeah. And after enough time serving as an operator, I... Uh, eventually made the decision to start my own business. And what I do now is I coach other operators. So I went through all sorts of trials and, and tribulations, self-teaching myself operations and kind of stumbling through that career path. And what I do now is offer a coaching program so that other operators don't have to take quite so long. They don't have to make quite so many uh, mistakes through trial and error and not knowing what they don't know. Um, and we can actually really accelerate that learning curve for them so that they are then able to turn around and serve who we ultimately work with, which is the CEOs of digital startups who are rapidly scaling and who need a really high level operator on their team in order to successfully hit their vision, their goals and achieve their impact. So, so that's a short answer. So as you describe this, I'm thinking like, wow, you know, I, I know, cause I know a lot of entrepreneurs. So, so, yep. so what, like how, how are some of the ways they mm. might describe the problems they're having that would lead somebody mm. like me to realize, oh, you need to mm. talk with somebody like China. Mm. That's a fantastic question. The The biggest things that my clients say to me when we first start working together is, you know, I want to scale my company to the next level, but I don't know how. Like, I honestly just don't know what the next stage of growth and level up looks like for me, looks like for my business. I um, and feeling like I'm spending more and more time stuck in the weeds of my business and working in my business instead of working on it. And I don't know how to get myself out of that corner. I don't know how to level myself out of the day to day. Um, I am 
spending a lot of time doing things in my business that I don't want to be doing, right? Like I am constantly reactive to my business, showing up, just putting out fires, answering the same team questions, and really like on this road towards frustration and burnout. And they don't know how to outwork that problem. And all of the things they've tried so far are no longer working. Okay. That's really helpful. That's really helpful. So, okay. All right. Very cool. Cool. (laughs) Okay. So now that we've got a little bit of context set, I want to, I'm I'm going to shift gears just a little little bit. I'm going to reiterate the question for the benefit of the listener. So have you ever been introduced to a person or persons that completely changed the course of your life or your business so much so that much of what you have today would not be possible if not for this person or persons. And Jonathan, I'm just really excited to hear your story and your experience around this topic of relationships. Yeah, absolutely. So the answer is yes, absolutely. And as I was thinking about this interview and who I wanted to talk about, there were two relationships that came to mind. So we'll see okay. how far we get into it. Um, the first one is is just so top of me mind for me right now because the relationship itself is pretty new. I've known this person just over six months, maybe okay. like not very long at all. Um, and so the, but already my life is different for having this relationship. And I can sense that like the exponential change in the trajectory of my life has only just started, which is a really cool feeling of like being able to look back at this moment and know that five years from now, when I look back, I will be able to credit this person with so much. And I'm super grateful for that. So the person in in question, his name is Cameron Harold. Um, You may have known him from Genius Network days, but Cameron is, uh, he was the former COO at 1-800-GOT-JUNK and scaled that company from like four, six maybe million up to like 24 million. um, And that really put him on the map and now he's a, you know, executive business coach and consultant. He does what I do for operators. He also has a network of operators that he coaches, but he does so for like mid and enterprise level COOs, you know, eight, yeah. nine figures. Um, and so I guess it's a good to, to share the story of, of how we met, how we got introduced. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It, and it's so strange. Like I still look back on it and I don't really know how this even happened. Like somebody that I don't know and don't remember dropped a post in Facebook. Hey, I'm looking for somebody who does operations coaching. Someone else that I don't really know or remember tagged both he and I in that comment thread. And then when I looked him up, I was like, oh my God, this guy is a big deal. And I think I reached out to him, just said, hey, <laughs> like really, like that simply. <laughs> he looked at me, he saw that what I was doing was was a mirror reflection of what he's doing just at two different levels. And he invited me to, like, we hopped on a call, we had a really good chat, and then we hopped on a podcast, much like how you and I met, Kevin. Hopped on a chat, said, yeah, there's a lot of synergy here. I respect this person. I like this person. We get along well. Let's hop on a podcast and see if we can make some magic. Mm-hmm. Um, that conversation and that podcast episode that we've done um, eventually turned into him circling back with me a few months later and proposing that we start a business together and that we joint venture on a product that we have now done. It is officially going live two days from now at time of recording. Um, and it's it's a pa- like it's a product that we had both independently like came up with, we're super passionate about, we're going to build independently, and then realized how much more fun would it be if we just built it together. And so that is kind of the story, the overview of the relationship as it stands today. Um, but already like the mentorship the learning, the insights, the connections, and like the network that he has access to, the um, the speed at which my company will be accelerated and my brand will be as accelerated in association with change and his. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a call. That's terrible. And um, it's it's already had a profound effect. Like there's a whole product that is now built in my business that I wouldn't have built for another one to two years without this introduction. Wow. We launched it and are launching it in the course of two months um, in what would have taken me probably six months, right? So already I can see that as far as the effect, it's just like compressing time and accelerating the way, the rate at which I will be able to like serve and impact the people that I'm passionate about serving and do that in collaboration with somebody I really trust and respect. You know that, and and I, I don't usually do this on these podcasts, but I... I I, I'm I'm going to share a little bit because I want to I want to inspire you. 
Okay, uh, let's do it. In Cameron too, because I, I do know Cameron. I first mm -hmm. met Cameron uh, years ago at one of Jason Gaynard's uh, Mastermind Talks events. And I also met Cameron uh, through Genius Network as well. Uh -huh. Yep. And, uh, and, but he spoke at one of Jason Gaynard's events. And that's when I kind of got to hear his story about 1-800-JUNK and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, and kind of what is going on with you and Cameron right now, this thing happened with Joe Polish and I back in 2003. Uh, I, I, I was one of Joe's clients. I had a carpet cleaning and restoration business at that time. Mm -hmm. And in 2000, I had started a website, uh, probably one of the ugliest websites on the internet called Get Mold Solution as an extension of that cleaning and restoration company. Okay. And, and we got that website to where it was producing about 15,000 a month in revenue for, for the company. And, yeah. and Joe and I were having a conversation in the spring of that year. And he's like, hey, he's like, why don't? You come down here at the end of the year and speak at the annual. He used to hold this annual event for the cleaning and restoration industry. He's like, why don't you come down here and show them what you're doing with your website? And I'm like, all right. And and he's like, and, and before you come down, he's make sure and document what you do and how you do it. Put it into a course because mm -hmm. a certain percentage of them, once, once they hear from you, they're going to want your help. Just make sure you're ready to give them that. And I'm wow. like, Okay. And so November of that year, I go there. I had never spoken public before, Jonna. Uh, and so fortunately, I was because I was one of those one of his clients. A lot of people, a, a percentage of people, they knew me already. So so sure. it was a friendly crowd, you know. Sure. Sure. Uh, but at the end of that, and and you know, I I was nervous. Um, I at, at first, and but what, once I got into it, I was like, "Wow, they're totally into this too." So then I just relaxed a little bit and just kept sharing. And and at the end, I just said, "You know, hey, if this resonates with you, if you feel like I might be able to help you, well, here's what that looks like, and here's what the investment is." And we ended up making thirty five thousand in sales of wow. the course. And, and I was like, "Wow, that was really awesome." And yeah. so the following year. April 19th of 04, I sold the cleaning and restoration business. We went into the publishing business full time. And over the next 12 years, I sold $16.1 million worth of that training, that yeah. course. And yeah. granted, we updated it a bunch over that. Sure. Time. But, sure, of course. but all that transpired yeah. because of the initial thing that, and, and, and Joe, like Cameron, you know, he he just saw that like, hey, here's an opportunity for us to do something together that if we did this together, we could have a bigger impact and and that then either one of us would be able to have on our own. Yes. And 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 that's always the case when we partner yes. with like-minded yes. people who share uh have shared values, you know. Yes. And Absolutely. so um I'm just going to put it out there. I've got big expectations for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I do too. And I'm so, I'm so excited for it. And I feel, you know, it's this weird thing where it's, it was one of those weird cases where it felt like life happened to me. Like I've, I've played that movie back in my mind to try and analyze, like, what did I do that made this opportunity happen? Cause at the root cause, I do believe that, you know, I, I affected that outcome. But what did I do? How did that work? Because in the moment, it really just felt like this really kind of like titan of a human being reached down, like plucked me out of the dirt and was like, hey, you want to partner on this? And I'm like, what is happening right now? And I and I think that there were a couple of core things that made it a reason for him to reach out to me mm -hmm. above everybody else that he could have worked with on this. Um, and I actually just straight up asked him, like when we first met up to like build this product together, I was like, Cameron, why are you doing this? Like you could build this by yourself. You could, I'm sure you have a number of people on speed dial that would say yes to building this with you immediately. Why did you choose to build it with me? Um, and what he said was, it's because we are intrinsically motivated to serve the same people. He works with operators, COOs at big companies. I work with operators and COOs at small companies. But at the at the end of the day, we are both operators who work in service to operators. Mm -hmm. And there are just not that many of us in the space, realistically, like operations is the black sheep of the business family. And what he what he saw was a reflection of himself doing the same work, driven towards the same goals, wanting to make the same impact. And I think to your point of like, 
when we combine, we can actually exponentially compound that impact versus what either of us would have been able to create and serve for operators with our own. It's a, it's a community, right? For operators, that's what we've built. We could have launched two separate communities and done that independently. But when we come together, the, the magnification effect that that community is going to see when we send it live in two days is so much bigger than what either of us could have created alone. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's an ex exponential impact. Not, it's not, it's not a, you know, one plus one is two. It's, it's like a right. one plus one is 11 kind of a thing. Right. Exactly. It's not even a one plus one is four. It's like a one plus one is 16. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. well, you alluded to another person that you wanted to honor. So I want to make sure you get the opportunity to do that too. Yeah, totally. You know, this one's really interesting for me, Kevin. And I, and I even debated whether I should share it or wanted to share it with you on this episode, but it is when you first asked me the question, this was the person who came to mind because it was a person that I've met seven years ago at this point. And so I have seen the expen like the exponential effect that this person has had in my life. Um, but it's an interesting scenario. This person is an ex-boyfriend of mine. Uh, the relationship did not end well. But the reality is, is that I have so much to honor him for in terms of how his presence in my life has shifted my trajectory and the effect that it's had. Mm -hmm. So for the for the purposes of out of respect for him and him maybe not feeling equally positive about me, let's call him John for a moment. Okay. Um, but John and I were together about three years, a little bit over. He was scaling a business, a digital business at the time that I had met him. And I had just experienced my first real catastrophic failure in life. The company that I had chosen to work for directly out of college had just gone bankrupt. And I was so devastated by it and had no idea what had just happened. Um, and it was in that moment that I was at a pretty low point and the company that I was working for had this amazing idea. They were an international mediation company and I just believed in their vision and their mission so much. And I was so there for it. And then it went bankrupt and like little post-college me, like couldn't figure out why this amazing idea wasn't going to take shape in the world mm -hmm. until I realized that like, mm, okay, so there's this new thing called business and I don't know how it works and I need to learn how it works in order for the great ideas that I have and that I want to impact in the world can actually do that and that I don't go bankrupt one day. I have to learn this game. And right in that moment and at that realization, this person came into my life who was scaling a business, who was learning the exact same lessons that I needed to learn. Um, we ended up moving into a van together and living in a van a converted sprinter van together for three years. And I ended up becoming my first operations job was at his business and becoming his COO. Um, and it was really through just like sitting across the table from him two feet away every single day in this van, watching him build this thing. That was my business 101 course. That was my introduction into this new realm that I needed to learn about and that I wanted to learn about and would have never learned about had I not just experienced this catastrophic failure that made me realize how important it was that I learned this new school, this new skill set. Um, and so I have a lot to be very grateful to John for in that way. Like there was a lot that I, I certainly would not be in business today. That would not have been my career path. I wouldn't be in operations today. I stumbled into operations by doing it for him in his business. I wouldn't have a skill set that I treasure and love and am passionate about today. I wouldn't serve the people that I serve today without that skill set and without realizing that operations was something I could be very good at and talented at and bring value through. So it was a it was a very fundamental, totally like shifted the trajectory of my life by like a full 10 degrees, just knowing this one person and having this one relationship. Um, and in reflecting on that, you know, it could have ended even worse than it did. And there is still so much gratitude that I have for that person because I would not be who I am today and feel the level of fulfillment and joy that I feel in the work that I get to do every day with that. Yeah. That is really powerful, Jonna. That is really powerful. And, um, you, you know, we, we have these people that come into our lives for a season and just shape our lives and have such long lasting impact on our lives, mm -hmm. even though they were this there for a period of time. Yeah. You know? Totally. Totally. Yeah. Uh, 
And, you know, John was definitely one of those guys for you. And, and look at all that's happening now. And look at all the, and, and the thing is, I, I, I'm i going to put it out there that uh, I believe you're just scratching the surface. I believe you're just getting started. You know? I do too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And it, but there's a lot of learnings in that. Like um, there was another couple, John's business partner and his now wife, very similar, right? Like she was also starting a business. She was also learning about business um, at the same time that John and his partner were scaling this thing. And she chose not to take on the same amount of learning that I did when it came to just being in proximity of these guys building this thing. And so I'm realizing that there's also a lot in that opportunity that I took full advantage of in the moment because there's absolutely like the partners to your listeners and the skill sets that they have and the genius that they bring to their work as a partner, you can choose to learn that or not. You can choose to soak up all of that information and all of that genius. And even if it's not a romantic partner, if it's a sibling, if it's a friend, right? We exist in proximity to the people who have immense knowledge and skill. And we can choose to be a sponge and be willing to like absorb that through our pores all day, every day or not. And there's no right or wrong answer. But if I hadn't shown up to the relationship in that way, I also wouldn't be who I am today. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, I, I know, you know, in, in, in the work that I do, you know, I mean, I, 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 I feel, I facilitate relationships that impact millions of people. And, and yet I can only do what I do with certain kinds of people. I can't do that with everybody, you know, sure. it, yeah. and it's as much about who they are and how they show up as it is about the gifts that I bring to the table. It is totally, it, it is, it is one hundred percent a co-creative and collaborative effort it is yes. not a one-way street yes. and uh and you know and, and you're right it is about how we show up and and when you and i you know it, it's how we show up that attracts these you know i mean there's there is no doubt that you know that there with what happened with you and cameron you know making the post and 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 yeah uh, you yep. know I mean, I could give you so many stories and examples around stuff like that, like that, that yeah. we would, that people would say, oh, well, what an awesome coincidence that was. Well, yes. we can say right. that if we want. Right. But I prefer to say, you know what? Um, that was not coincidence. There are no coincidences. Uh, yeah. I, I expect that shit to happen in my life yeah. <laughs> because I'm open to it. I'm yes. open to it. I yes. expect it to happen. And I yeah. am going to be, I, I'm always going to show up and in, in a couple of ways. I, I want to be the conduit of trust for the people in my life that I love and that I care about. You know, these entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who are doing such great things, making such a big impact in the world. I want to hold that spot for them to the best of my ability. I also yeah. want to be the best possible steward of relationships that I can be. And mm -hmm. because I am focused and have set intentions in my life to be those things and to show up that way. Well, because I am showing up the best that I possibly can right here, right now in this moment with the goal of continually yep. getting better and better and better at what I do, then yep. by gosh, I expect stuff to happen because there is nobody else better than me at what I do, you know? Yeah. And so yeah, why absolutely. wouldn't stuff come to me? Right, right. Because it almost, through that lens, it almost doesn't make sense that that wouldn't happen, that those things yeah. wouldn't take place. Yeah. What I'm hearing you say, Kevin, also is that it's focus, right? Like you are incredibly clear on where you're going, what you do and where you want to grow and learn. And so the right people come into your life or the right coincidences happen that move you further down that path. And I think that if I look at me and Cameron, it was the same thing, right? If I wasn't as clear in what I do, who I serve, why I'm passionate about it, why I am motivated towards it. He would have looked over me because why wouldn't he, right? Like I'm another voice in a sea of voices and it's too noisy out there. Why would anybody pay attention? Yeah. And so I think that has been a powerful lesson for me that I want to really double down on and get clear on. It's like at every stage of growth, what am I trying to learn next? Who am I trying to become? And what are the gaps between who I am today and who I want to become? That's where my focus is. Call it like intention. I don't know. There's a lot of woo-woo words around it. But for me, it's almost like confirmation bias, right? 
Like if I'm clear top of mind every single day, this is where I'm going. I will, my brain is in hyperdrive looking for things that will fit that pattern that will move me forward. And so of course those opportunities suddenly appear. The opportunities were probably always there, but I'm just noticing them now because I'm super, super clear and super focused on what it is that I'm actually looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited to hear what comes from this yeah. project with you and yeah. Cameron. I'm I'm excited to hear what other doors and opportunities get opened as a result of that and just other things going on that are totally. like, because I guarantee you there is other things. All, there's already other people that are hearing about you and 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 the work that you do and all that and it's and and seeds are already being planted right now. Right. You know, even right. seeds right. that we have no idea no are idea. being planted. You know. Yep. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. No, we'll have to do a a 2.0 version of this episode like three yeah. years from now, and I'll yeah. tell you how it goes. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. Well, Jana, I really appreciate you taking the time to have this conversation. And and for anybody listening to this, and it's like, man, Kevin, I I really like Jonna and the way that she shows up. And and I would imagine there's probably some entrepreneurs listening to this that might, you know, like have some operational challenges. They might like, I want to talk with her. Right. They <laughs> so, might. I got you. So, uh, <laughs> for anybody that's, uh, you know, wants to know more about what you're doing and stuff, how can they uh, find out more, Jonna? Yeah. So the easiest place to find me, guys, is just my website, spyglassops.com. Um, but I would also direct you towards my free Facebook group because I drop live free operational training every single week. And so in terms of where I would be able to offer you the highest free value add, it would be on my Facebook group. Again, Spyglass Ops, search us on Facebook, you'll find the group. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Jonna, thank you so much for taking thank the time you. to have this conversation. And, uh, you know, um, like I said, you know, for, for the listeners, my goal has always been that I, I want them to walk away from listening to whatever conversations have here, being inspired to place yeah. intentional focus on creating more real, meaningful, rewarding, and profitable relationships in their Absolutely. own life. And, and we definitely delivered on that today, thanks to you. So I really appreciate you. And any any last thing you feel compelled to share before we call it a wrap, Jonah? You know, actually, yes. And what I feel compelled to share is to like turn the mirror back around and thank you as well, Kevin, like truly for creating a space. Like I don't know of many podcasts like this where the purpose of it is so clear and is exactly what it is. And and I am super grateful to you for like putting your life's work and energy and focus towards doing the work that you do because it is exceptional. And as a result of this relationship, who knows what exponential compound effect the two of us are going to be able to have. And I think that that is a really powerful, amazing thing. And so I'm grateful yeah. to you for it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, mm -hmm. Jonna, thank you again. And I am Absolutely. excited to share this episode with folks. Sounds great. We'll talk soon.